Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shifeng Sun. Uh, today, I will give a talk on uh, our recent work on practical non detective search encryption with forward and backward privacy. Uh, this is a joint work with Ron Stanford, Shang Chi Lai, Xin Nan Yuan, I mean, Saksat Joseph Liu from Monash University, uh, Shia Nepo from uh, Data Six One, and Dao Gu from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Uh, in this talk, I will first briefly introduce the background on symmetric search encryption, and then introduce our main contributions. After that, I will turn to uh, our main ideas and uh, techniques, and then introduce uh, briefly the performance of our solutions. Uh, at last, I end this talk with a brief concluding. Uh, symmetric search encryption, uh, SAT for short, uh, enables the, the client to encrypt her data uh, in a way such that uh, uh, the encrypted data can be searched by the server while not sacrificing the data and query privacy. To achieve efficiency, uh, uh, it is usually allowed to uh, leak some information, but no more than the setup leakage and the search leakage. Uh, the setup leakage is uh, total information leaked before executing search, uh, such as the database size. The search leakage usually consists of search pattern and uh, access pattern. The search pattern uh, indicates whether a search query is repeated, uh, while access pattern uh, refers to the document identifiers that satisfy the search query. Uh, in practice, dynamic symmetric search encryption uh, it's already more desirable, uh, which allows the client to uh, uh, insert new documents or, and or delete the existing ones from the database. Uh, the updates enrich the functionality of uh, uh, SSE, uh, but it also introduced some in, uh, new leakage during the update, uh, such as the total number of updates, the types or time steps of updates, or even uh, the updated keywords or documents. Uh, this leakage has been leveraged uh, to break data or query privacy, uh, such as by file injection attack. To capture the security of uh, dynamic SSE, a forward and backward privacy uh, was initialized by Stefanov uh, and others in uh, 2014, and subsequently uh, formalized by Boost and others in 2017. Uh, informally, a uh, forward privacy uh, ensures that the updates cannot be associated with uh, a previous such queries. Uh, since this work is uh, more related to a uh, backward privacy, uh, I don't expand it here. Uh, for backward privacy, uh, it is expected that the update and the subsequent search uh, should not leak anything about the deleted documents. Uh, to make it more clear, uh, let's take an example. Uh, suppose that the client uh, inserts uh, the document keyword pairs ID1, W1, and ID2, W2, at time T1 and T2. Uh, at time T3, uh, she decided to delete uh, the document uh, and the keyword pair ID1, W1. Uh, at time T4, she performed a search query over the keyword W1. Uh, ideally, uh, the search at time T4 uh, uh, reveals only the documents currently matching the key, uh, keyword W1, uh, but it's difficult to achieve this goal. Uh, still, uh, it may leak some other information about the deletions, uh, such as the document ID1 is deleted at time T3. Uh, 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 according to the amount of uh, uh, information leaked during the update, a uh, backward privacy is uh, further classified into uh, three types from type one to time three. The type one backward privacy allows to uh, leak the document identifiers currently matching the query. The time steps of, the, uh, of inserting these documents are the total number of updates on this query. Uh, type two backward privacy uh, additionally uh, leaks the time steps of all the updates on, this, on the query keywords. Uh, for the type three backward privacy, it uh, further leaks uh, with deletion uh, cancels with uh, insertion. Uh, until now, uh, different approaches have been proposed to uh, achieve backward privacy, uh, such as the re encryption constraint PRF, um, oblique theorem, and the puncture encryption. Among them, the type one and the type two uh, schemes usually realize on expensive or complicated cryptographic uh, primitives, uh, like oblivious map, which would involve uh, multi round chips. Uh, to our best knowledge, excluding by using SJX, the only way for designing a dynamic uh, 
uh, SAG within a single round trip is by leveraging puncture encryption. So hot design practical, non-detective, and strong backward private, uh, such as type two backward uh, private dynamic SSE without trusted discussions uh, is still left open. Uh, in this work, we make the following uh, contributions. Uh, we first propose a new cryptography primitive named the symmetric revocable encryption and give a generic construction uh, from uh, lightweight cryptographic tools. Then based on this primitive, we propose the first practical uh, non-detective type to backward private SSE without relying on uh, trusted execution environments. Uh, also, we implement our uh, dynamic asset scheme uh, and uh, compare it with the state-of-the-art detective and the non-detective uh, dynamic asset schemes in both line and one settings. Now let's turn to uh, our uh, main ideas and techniques. Uh, our starting point is uh, the puncture encryption based approach. Uh, let's first recall uh, how this approach works and uh, what makes it achieve only top three backward privacy. Uh, the high level idea of uh, this approach is to use two forward private access instances to achieve uh, backward privacy. Uh, more specifically, uh, to insert a, a document a keyword pair as a client uh, first generate an associated uh, tag and then uh, generate the soft test of the document identifier and this tag. Uh, after that, the client uh, uploads the soft test together with the unique tag to the server by invoking the first SSE uh, instance sigma. Uh, when deleting a document keyword pair, WND, uh, the client uh, first generate uh, the associated uh, tag are then um, a generator a, a new uh, puncture key share by uh, invoking uh, the incremental puncture uh, algorithm, which revokes the decryption capability of the master secret key on the soft test with this tag. Uh, after that, the client uh, uploads the a new key share uh, under the associated tag to the server by invoking the second uh, uh, as I say, instance, sigma delete. Uh, when performing a search query, uh, the client uh, first uh, sends the token and the remaining master secret key to the server. With the token, uh, the server can retrieve uh, uh, all soft test and uh, uh, punctured key shares matching the query. Uh, and then the server uses the retrieved uh, punctured key shares together with the remaining master secret key to decrypt the subtest. If the subtest is not deleted, uh, then the server can recover the corresponding uh, document identifiers and send them back to uh, the client. Uh, from this, uh, pro uh, from this uh, process, uh, we can see that um, the server uh, cannot learn what document are deleted, but it can learn uh, when the deletion happens and uh, which deletion removes which insertion. Uh, this is because uh, the server can keep track of the deletions through uh, the outsourced uh, uh, punctured key shares. Uh, therefore, uh, this approach can only achieve uh, type three backward privacy. Uh, to achieve uh, high level uh, backward privacy, our basic idea is to uh, make the deletions oblivious to the uh, server uh, by performing them uh, locally instead of incrementally outsourcing them to the server. A naive solution is by running uh, the previous approach uh, in the following way. The insertion process is the same as before, but for deletions, the client uh, record uh, the associated tags uh, locally. Uh, when performing a search query, the client first generates uh, a, a puncture secret key for uh, the recorded tags by repeatedly uh, running the puncture algorithm. Then uh, send it together with the token to the server. Uh, the server with the token can retrieve all the uh, soft test matching the query. Uh, after that, the server uses the puncture secret key to decrypt each soft test and retains the non delicious documents to the server. Uh, from, this progress, uh, from this process, we can see that uh, uh, the server cannot learn uh, which deletion happens and uh, which deletion removes uh, which insertion. Uh, however, this approach suffers from two drawbacks. 
The first is that the cloud storage is large. Uh, that is, the cloud needs to uh, record all text to be deleted. And the second is that uh, the search community cost is large, which scales linearly with the number of deletions. Uh, to overcome these two drawbacks, we further introduce a new technique uh, called compressed symmetrical revocable encryption. Uh, roughly, it is an encryption scheme that uh, can revoke a list of text in one shot with a low storage request. Also, we present an efficient construction. Our idea is to first compress our text into a compact data structure, and then generate the, the revoked secret key on the basis of this uh, data structure. Uh, in our work, we implement uh, uh, this, this data structure with Bloom filter, uh, which is a well-known uh, data structure for compact set representation. Uh, based on our CSI IE scheme, uh, we propose our dynamic SSC scheme following the, uh, the above approach. Uh, as analyzed before, uh, uh, this approach uh, leaks less information than the uh, puncture encryption based approach. Uh, and thus, our dynamic SSC scheme can achieve a top two backward privacy. Uh, for details of our SSC construction and uh, CSI scheme, please refer to uh, our paper. Uh, next, uh, I will briefly introduce uh, the performance of uh, our SSS scheme and compare it with the state of the artworks. We implement uh, our uh, scheme uh, with C++ and OpenSSL and uh, use Swift as a network framework to test the delay from the network. Uh, we compare it with the latest type 2 scheme, uh, SDD, and the latest non-detective uh, SSS scheme. Uh, Genius++. Plus plus. We evaluate the performance in both LAN and WAN settings. Uh, the results show that uh, in the LAN mounting, uh, SDD is almost three times faster than our solution. Um, but in the WAN setting, it is uh, almost uh, uh, 11 times slower than our solution. This is because its queries ink uh, a multi-round chips. Compared to Genius++, plus plus, uh, our solution is significantly faster, especially for large deletions. This is because Genius++ Plus needs to evaluate DG geometries, uh, while our scheme only needs to evaluate one geometry. Uh, finally, I, uh, I want to note that uh, to achieve a top to backward privacy, uh, our, uh, our scheme uh, occupies more uh, cloud storage space than SDD, uh, but this cost is uh, uh, moderate for modern devices. Uh, at last, to conclude this talk, uh, in this work, we propose a practical non-detective uh, dynamic SSC with type two backward privacy uh, without relying on uh, our trusted execution environments. Uh, to this end, we propose a new cryptographic primitive uh, called symmetric revocable encryption and present a gener generic constructions. Uh, still, uh, it is challenging to design a practical uh, type one backward privacy SSE. Uh, our source codes uh, are available in, uh, in GitHub. Uh, that's it. Thanks for your attention.